Hello and welcome. My name is Michael and I'm with Camion, a manufacturer of liquid de-icing equipment. In today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about some features you wanna look for when purchasing a liquid de-icing sprayer. And uh, with us here in our video, we've got one of our flagship sprayers, the T-Series. First off, for the uh, stainless steel frame, you wanna have a rust armor frame. I mean, we're dealing with some corrosive uh, product in different areas. So that's really important to have uh, a stainless frame just to eliminate as much of that corrosion and rust as you can. Uh, the fork points, really the benefit of those is just loading and unloading these uh, units when you're setting it in storage for your off season. It's just, uh, they're too big to manhandle, just makes a nice convenient way to load and unload them. And then on the, as far as the mounting of the tank goes, what we, um, have standard here is a is a pin mount system and it's you want us the tank very well secured to the frame safety is a huge thing we're we're dealing in in wintertime elements slippery conditions with uh, traffic vehicles and pedestrians so having it mounted solid to the frame with this particular system we don't have any hoops and bands over the tank um, and the reason that's important is because it's not, uh, the tank doesn't move inside of those hoops and create wear points on a poly tank. So we have a couple different uh, tie-down systems on these uh, sprayers. And when you're, when you're looking for a sprayer, think about how you're gonna secure that system in the back of your truck. Whether it via these tie-down points like we've got here, there's a few different options on some of the different sprayers out there. We've also got some L brackets here, which allows you to bolt solid down if you've got a flat bed like this. Um, another thing I've seen guys do is running straps right across the frame here, holding the unit down solid. I don't particularly like using straps. I like bolting through an L bracket like this for the simple reason, again, you're solid to the bed. So next we're gonna talk a little bit about the tank that you uh, wanna get on your sprayer. Now, in the, the sump bottom tank, the reason that this is important is because um, you want to make sure you've got a full drain out, clean the tank after each season or use. If the unit's going to be sitting for a while, you want to make sure you flush everything clean out of the tank. Any debris or whatever that gets in there and even residue that builds up in there, you want to be able to wash that down and flush it out. So a sump bottom on the tank is very important. And then the other thing is, is the level indicator. We put a three quarter inch sight tube on. As long as you got a clear tube up the side or the end of the tank showing your liquid level. Um, some of the GPS units have that right on the controller where you can see your liquid level. But it's always a nice thing to have when you're filling the unit um, for safety just so you don't overfill and splash liquid out having an indicator up the side of the tank. And then Inside of the tank, we have uh, baffle balls installed in the T-Series units. And these balls are, are gonna stop the sloshing of liquid front to back and side to side. And the reason for that is, is to just really stabilize your liquid load when you're, when you're traveling around. As we've already mentioned, we're in uh, slippery conditions, winter conditions. And this just helps secure that load so it doesn't slosh around so much. And um, also just on a point of safety, is the reason we have the bright orange tank. So you're always visible when you're out in the parking lots, or roadways, um, de-icing. It's always good to have good visibility around you from all sides for uh, traffic coming and going. Also on these, on these here tanks, uh, Camion has a 10-year registered warranty. So um, you're, you're guaranteed and registered for 10 years on the tank. So these sprayers come with a double bar spray boom. One bar has got straight stream nozzles and one bar has got a fan spray nozzle. And this gives you the ability to run either or. You can pre-wet or post-wet with that. So another thing the sprayer boom has is a tri-zone spray selection where you've got right, left, and center. You've got three electronic valves here running your spray bar. Your center one's running just the, the bar underneath behind the vehicle and then each side one is running a fan spray out each side for right left. So the reason this is important is because when you're doing a full open parking lot you can run three lanes wide and really cover acres um, 
doing about 30 some feet wide, 30, 32 feet wide. Um, and then if you're just doing a, a small lane, single lane, or if you're coming up to a car, you can shut one or both sides off and just spray with your center section. That eliminates a lot of waste. You don't want to spray up on the uh, grass or turf and it, it saves a lot of material. So now we're gonna just take a look at the fast fill feature on these sprayers. And basically what the fast fill is, you've got a two inch uh, cam lock coupling on the back of here where you can, from an external tank, couple your two inch hose onto here. And you can either, if you've got an external pump, you can open these two valves. So you're just pushing that liquid straight into the bottom of the tank and filling that way or you can close this back valve going into the tank and just open this first valve, run the liquid through your pump and fill in through your recirculation hose. So this sprayer has another port up here that you see coming off the discharge side of the pump. What this is for is when you're, you've got a part of a tank left and you're done a project and you want to empty your, your tank out, you can open the valve coming from the bottom of the tank Run your liquid up through your pump and just hook a hose up to this cam lock fitting here, two inch, and pump back into your tank. So you can actually use the pump on the unit for loading and or unloading. Then with the pumps, we have three different options on our T-Series pumps. If it's 500 gallons and over on the tank size, we have electric, which is what's shown on here. We have gas powered, and we have hydraulic power driven pumps. Um, the electric power is what we've been running on ours. Uh, this is uh, eco-friendly, it's quiet. Really, really nice unit for if you're doing anywhere around residential or areas where there's uh, uh, folks. It's quiet, it's really low maintenance and really easy to use. You're not dealing with uh, you know, any kind of uh, gas cans or anything with this. The only restriction I would say on the electric unit is your volume output. So if you're doing roadways, you're gonna wanna go with a gas powered unit or hydraulic unit if your truck's equipped with hydraulics. Uh, they will be a, a lot higher output for volume. So just to recap on the video, uh, this, this sprayer here, um, it comes in a, a few different sizes obviously. But this really is a flagship sprayer, uh, very easy to maintain, heavy duty piece of equipment that's gonna last you for season after season.